Um, so this is the new delay module. Uh, it's uh, mono in and then two delays that are independent of each other. And they're just a, a classic delay where you pick where in the delay you're listening from. And that has a CV control. Um, the slightly unusual thing is the CV controls also have a slew rate limiter on. So you can open that slew rate limiter up and jump in time instantaneously. Or you can wind that down and it slowly travels back in time like the old take delays used to. So it can do both the immediate and um, traditional type delay slewing. Um, and we've just got a simple boring loop going. And I can add some of the uh, second channel of the delay. Just normal delay sort of stuff. There's a triplet, and I'm just using a matrix mixer here so we can do some feedback on that one. So that's the, the classic delay effects that people are used to rather than having a fixed set of feedback and um, mixing controls in the module, you leave that outside so you can include things like distortion or filters in your feedback loops to get some more interesting effects. And if we jump to the first channel here, it's pitched uh, delayed closer on top of it, so you can get some phasing type effects. straight from there and you can patch an internal feedback using the two channels and there's a sum that adds them internally together.
just fly that right down. So with the, the zoom, zoom controls on this feedback, we can change in very, very small amounts to get that decay time. It's going to get close, to, very close to infinite times without self oscillating That's the sort of thing that we can use to do solid modeling, physical modeling. some pulses into it. So if we feed that sort of sound into it. Now where was that going? It's coming into it. useful things with the CV inputs are their volt per octave scale. Into this, into the other yeah, so um, one zoom and MIDI accessory works for the whole set of modules if, from if the If you don't have group. the MIDI accessory version? Does it if you just have the zoom, you just have the zoom. But the MIDI is also an option that's available and one of these accessories then connects to every module in the case. All right, so that just links, links up at the back. Links up at the back from the rear. So you only need one zoom switch in the, the whole case for all the modules. Yeah. They daisy chain from the back of each module. That's correct, that. yeah. Okay. Um, and the MIDI in this case can be set to tune the delay times, so you can play um, physical modelling synthesis from a MIDI keyboard if you want the exact um, tuning. What's well, doing the actual delay? Or is it a it's just a delay. Oh. Um, it's using the same uh, platform as all the other modules. Okay. So it's like a, a very high powered DSP. Yeah. Um, and because of that, uh, it's able to do some unique things with this one. Uh, typically, the delays are set to clock periods, and you can only delay by a certain number of integer clock periods. Mm -hmm. And that was an issue for the early physical modeling synthesis. Mm -hmm. um, with the power of these modern um, computational techniques, this can actually delay fractions of what used to be called a clock cycle. So uh, that'll delay with steps of uh, less than a microsecond, whereas a typical sample in your um, delays is uh, 
10 or 20 microseconds. Yeah. So it has a much, much finer resolution to get those uh, carefully pitched tones. I forget where this went. Oscillating, you back it off just from where it self oscillates. You have those long delays and it decays. <laughs> and then you can go wild adding in feedback and all that sort of stuff with external, external modules to it. So, sorry, there's nothing particularly exciting to demonstrate here. And what, what are the other modules that you've got com coming out already? Uh, the, those will come out later, we'll do some more videos of those. Yeah, but what were they? Uh, the existing ones were the granular, the yeah. uh, arbitrary waveform oscillator, where you can load any, any particular waveform into it from an SD card, yeah. uh, a filter VCA combo, and the two new ones after this that have just been released are a noise and sample and hold generator and a mixer envelope. So now there's most of the system together under and, the one manufacturer. And do you think next month you might be able to show us the other ones? We can get through them today. Oh, you got them all here today? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. So um, one last thing on the delay is um, it will track clock inputs. We don't have enough clocking here to be able to demonstrate it. But you can send in, yeah, we might try it later. Yeah. You can send in either a tempo clock or an oscillator and it will control the delay time to match a ratio of that. Mm -hmm. So you can do things like phasing oscillators and as you change pitch in the oscillator the delay will stay a ratio of the period of the oscillator. So you can set a, a 90 degree quadrature output and no matter how the, the oscillator pitches you'll always have a 90 degree output there for spatial changing or LFOs. Um, and yeah, that, that can sync right down to tempo clocks and track those to, to keep the tempo matched to the delays. <laughs>